It is March 16th. You know what? Fuck this. Fuck this. Take two. Today, I decided to get a wild turkey breast that I shot with Travis. I didn't just shoot the breast. <laughs> I've got wild turkey breasts. Why can't I make wild turkey pastrami's? I can't really say that it's going to turn out amazing, but it is going to keep me entertained for the next five days. Aha! <laughs> so I make lists. I'm known for it. I'm horrible at it because I cannot write. And the brine I have decided to go with was uh, three cups of water, a quarter cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup of kosher salt, two bay leaves, a tablespoon of crushed juniper berries, a tablespoon of crushed peppercorns, six to eight cloves, I always did eight, three chili flakes broken up, or a teaspoon of mustard seed. Yeah. Boiled off the brine. I boiled off the brine, <laughs> chilled, and we're going to put the breast in there. The boiled brine with breast. <laughs> I'm over here cracking myself up, talking to you guys about cooking, and I don't even have pants on. I'm not cooking right now. It doesn't matter. That's my day. <laughs> it always seems easier, doesn't it? We need to just watch all this shit together. We're going to submerge it under the liquid itself. We are going to seal this with some saran wrap and let it sit in the fridge for three days. It might suck, it might not. It might be delicious. I don't know. Huh? I just wanted to show a picture of what all that goes in there. Call me. Oh. Ooh. And don't try and wash off all that stuff, you know, that liquid. I mean, hell. It's wild for a reason, right? That's a bay leaf. It's like the 15th take. <laughs> Why don't you just put the fucker in the fridge? That was way too chippery for me. Nobody's gonna do that. So today is the 19th of March. It's been three days. So I have taken the breast out of the brine, patted it dry. I'm way more, I'm way more organized today. So it's actually fantastic. I wrote everything down on my list. So uh, now we're gonna do the rub. So the, the rub consists of a quarter cup of salt, quarter cup of paprika, three tablespoons of coriander seeds ground up, three tablespoons of brown sugar, three tablespoons of black, cracked black pepper, and then two tablespoons of mustard seed, and then we are going to vacuum seal it, and then we're going to put it sous vide machine for uh, 24 hours at 131 degrees. I cannot believe I got that on one take. We're going to the kitchen. So, got my little mixture right there. Keep one of the old grinders right there, and then you can just kind of grind it on top of everything. I think. We'll see. I don't know. In comparison? Seasoned up, ready for the vacuum seal. In 24 hours, we're gonna decide whether or not we're gonna hit it with the torch or broil it. And then we're gonna let it settle. Or, yeah, I don't know. This quarantine's hard. Hey Jed, what? Guess what today is? The 20th Wild Turkey Pastrami Day. Oh shit, it is. As you can tell, this quarantine has given me a lot of time on my hands. Almost done. We're at the very last end of it, everything. I was going to broil it off, but I decided to actually torch it instead to give it that smoky flavor. Especially after I re-season everything again. And then I'm going to put it in the fridge and let it cool off. 
until it's to the temperature and so all the juices kind of stay inside because I don't want to cut it while the juices are still moving around. In a couple hours, maybe we'll have a great sandwich or just something that I can throw away. So you're only invested for like 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. I could tell you that it's the best sandwich that I've ever tasted. But I will probably be very honest if it's not good. But hopefully it does taste good because I did invest a lot of time. gonna cut it we're gonna cut it really thin like D always does so because that's the best way to have sandwich meat oh man that is ridiculous hands down ridiculous We are done. Got a soda, the sandwich itself, and some pickles. Now they say traditionally it's just supposed to be rye bread, the meat, and then, uh, what is it, brown mustard? I didn't have any uh, rye bread. I couldn't find any rye bread, so I used wheat. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> this does not taste like wild turkey at all. This. Mmm. <laughs> I might have to have a second sandwich. Well. Before I start scarfing this thing down in front of the camera, um, yeah, try it out. Thanks for spending a couple days with me. <laughs> what up? <laughs>